Hi my friends, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm wearing my mama cap. How cute is this? I got it in the Oh Baby box that I reviewed. I will leave the video up there. I love it so much. I don't, I, I really never want to take it off. Although I live in Las Vegas and it's going to get hot here. Maybe I can cut some vents. I'm kidding. I want to do a fun and lighthearted video today. My girlfriend Sarah is obsessed with TikTok and she always texts me different TikTok videos. That's where I discovered that supposedly skinny jeans and a side part are out of style. And I mentioned that in a video and people thought that I thought that skinny jeans and a side part out of style. No, no, absolutely not. Couldn't be further than truth. Honestly, like if I had to pick an outfit to be buried in when I'm 125 years old, when I die, it could literally be skinny jeans and I would want my hair in a deep side part. It is the, I think generation Z, whatever like the young generation is right now that are into mom jeans and Doc Martens and all of that stuff have supposedly deemed skinny jeans and a side part. And if you use the laughing so hard you're crying emoji, that means that you're old. So apparently I said to my friend Sarah, I was like, oh my God. Obviously I'm like wearing ice blue eyeshadow and hairsprayed Aquanet bangs right now the 2021 version because I live for my skinny jeans and I'm not going to give them up. But my generation, millennials, I don't even know what I'm called, have clapped back on social media. It's just a thing. I am not judging skinny jeans. I own them. I wear them. I'm a petite 5'3 athletic build girl. They're the only things that look good on me. Okay. And uh, the generation that invented the mom jean and the Doc Martens, sit down little kids. Anyway. Then I wound up getting stuck in a TikTok hole. <laughs> Go figure. I found pregnancy TikToks that were making me laugh so hard that I wanted to share some with you and just do reactions so we could all laugh together. We all need some more laughs in life recently. So if you're interested, after this three minute intro on my reaction to these funny pregnancy TikToks, please keep watching. Let's go. Got some water, got the phone, we're ready to go. So what do you want for supper? Um, maybe we have Wendy's, Applebee's, Chick-fil-A, Donald's. We can have what those. Oh my god, I love it because first of all, it's so true. Second of all, that voice just eats me alive. It's so cute. That photo, that voice, everything. Five, six, seven, eight. because, well, I don't have a wedge, but somebody told me that's for heartburn and I don't have the pillow yet. I didn't know if those were a hoax. You guys told me to get one, but I just love how the spouse is sleeping and she's like 55 things deep that she has to do before she can go to bed. That's hysterical to me. It may get bigger, it may get a little bigger, it may not get bigger at all. We'll see what happens. But regardless of what happens, we're totally prepared. <laughs> I am so unprepared, but the voice, everything there, I, I'm not going to say much more because it's controversial, but it's effing hysterical. I am fucking eight months pregnant on my second fucking child. Honestly, it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter if I'm on my fucking first or second child, bitch. Do not give me your unsolicited fucking advice, ho. Don't fucking do it. Do not go on my fucking baby registry, okay? And then be like, oh, those pacifiers you have on there, they're not good. Because I saw a bitch on Instagram comment how it didn't work for her baby. Okay, bitch. Maybe it didn't work for her baby. Maybe it'll work for mine. Maybe it won't work for mine. I don't know. Fuck a trial and error, homegirl. Trial and fucking error, okay? If my kid don't like the fucking Como Tomo bottles I bought her and she likes the fucking dollar store bottles, guess what? I'm gonna get her the dollar store bottles, bitch. Every fucking product has a bad review. The fuck? Bitch, your baby daddy has a bad review. He got a one star ready, ho, and you still with his ass. Girl! I love every second of this. I am sorry for the language, but it just made the whole thing for me because one minute I'll be like, what do you think about blah, blah, blah? And then somebody gives me their advice and I'm like, don't even tell me what to do. I know what to do. One word, hormones. A little piece of advice. Just yes, nod, smile, especially for you daddies to be out there. Stop spreading those rumors around. Stop spreading the lies. Look at all these rumors surrounding me every day. We just need some time, some time to get away. That 
that's hysterical to me because it happened to us. We were convinced we were having a girl. Literally when we got our gender results, I turned to Adam and I was like, are you disappointed? So I hear you girl, but I cannot be happier. I'm thrilled. I'm over the moon that I have mama's boy on the way. The cutest package ever. I love this. And this, did it come like that? Yeah. Or did you no, it came like that. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute idea. This is the sweetest mom. She's so patient and adorable and optimistic. Is it an apple? She's like, oh, an apple. I'd be like, WTF. It's you. It's me? Yeah. Get it? It's a granny apple. Yep. Does that mean I'm a grandma? Yep. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yep. No. <laughs> what a cute family and what a smart mom. I would have never put together the Granny Smith apple and a grandma unless she had a feeling or overheard something, but so sweet. I had to include that one because it was just the cutest. Weird things that have happened to me during my pregnancy part three that I'm wondering if anybody else has becoming late because this little one came three weeks early. This might be a little bit TMI, but when I was pregnant and I ate asparagus, my pee stopped smelling. <laughs> Girl, yes, me. I, I thought it was just me. I thought maybe something happened to my sense of smell. Yeah, me, anybody else? Whew, before pregnancy, wow. In fact, I have, I have salmon and asparagus for dinner, so we're going to redo the experiment. I'll keep you guys posted, but last time I ate asparagus, why is it? It's got to be something about t baby taking the nutrients, but my medical peeps out there, tell me. God fucking damn it, Dave. Love every second of that. We do not feel pretty or sexy when we're pregnant and you finally find an outfit. The other day it happened to me. I put on a sweater and I had a scarf that I put on and Adam, it just slipped out of his mouth, poor guy. He is so good. He is so beyond good and sensitive and caring and calculated in every word, every response and reaction. This time it just slipped out. We were in a rush. I was being slow. He needed to go. We were losing daylight. We were trying to film a video outside and he's like, that doesn't even match. And I was like, oh. and I go over to the mirror dramatically and I was like, it matches enough and I purposely left it on. I hated the way it looked after that. He was right. It was in the video, our last live video, where we talked about how prison prepared him to, for fatherhood and I was wearing like this <laughs> navy blue scarf with red kisses all over it and I had hot pink sleeves on my sweater and there were stripes. It didn't match at all, but then I had to be a baby and then like, every five minutes I would be like, well, you don't wanna be seen with me because my sweater doesn't match. Yeah. I'd like to repeat one word hormones. You could tell he felt bad afterwards too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have such a good day today! Okay, so I'm still sleeping perfectly fine. Thank you, God. I'm not there yet. We're still second trimester. Everything's great. But I love how she's affirming I've been that girl before. Like, everything's great and fine and it's gonna be a perfect day. You hear me? Hysterical. Hey, babe, well, why is it so cold in here? It's just so hot in here. I can't, I can't cool down. Whatever. Oh. Oh, okay, well, do, do you think maybe we could close the window now? Maybe it's January. Stop yelling at me. You don't understand the sacrifice I'm making for this baby. Okay, okay. No, that, that's okay. Let's just, we'll open up all the windows. I'll, I'll go put on my winter coat, a parka, maybe, and a scarf. We'll, we're fine. It's fine. It's fine. I love that one because this daddy needs to continue to do videos and train other fathers 
we're the opposite here. I am always freezing. I'm not at that point in my hormone jet. I know it's coming where I'm going to be overheated and sweating and all that fun stuff. But for right now, I am always freezing. Adam is always sweating. His metabolism is flying all the time. So jealous. So when we sleep, he likes to sleep with the fan on, the ceiling fan. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Your son is freezing. You can't do that to him. Of course, I win right now. This is going to hurt like a bitch. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh to save myself from tears. Girl. Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. How would they know? This is 100% me. I'm grateful that I'm pregnant in the winter because I'm living in sweaters and oversized stuff except a couple times where I did dress up my mini bump right now. But I'm telling you, Adam's like, I'm like, I don't look pregnant, I just look fat. He's like, no, you look pregnant, you look really cute. And I'm like, I just look fat. No one knows and I just look fat. Meanwhile, I'm like bumpity bumpity. I can relate to this so much, I'm laughing so hard. I literally had to stop myself because there were so many funny ones and I'm like, all right, this is gonna get boring and it's gonna get long. But these are incredible and amazing and I swear I wish I had time to add TikTok to my repertoire of social media and YouTube because it's adorable. I just, I don't even wanna get started and addicted, but this is <laughs> hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed laughing with me. I love you guys so much. Let me know if you guys want more stuff like this because it's fun for me. I live to laugh. The other night, Adam was on the phone with his mom and she was on speaker and she said, Ro, I watched your video today. You made me laugh so hard. She's like, some of my family has called me and said how humorous you are and how much they enjoy and laugh at your videos. You don't even know, it makes my life to be able to make people laugh. These made me laugh and I hope they made you laugh. I hope I could sprinkle some sunshine into your day today and every day with my videos. I love you guys so much. Oh, and all the fun things like subscribe and watch other videos and thumbs up and comment and you guys know the drill. Mwah. Best YouTuber Alive Award right now, right there.